All right, everybody, welcome back to a, another four days of focus. Today we're going to cover skating. I'm going to go over some skating techniques and some little things that most of you probably already know, but it goes back to the same adage, if you can't skate, you can't play. So everybody's got to learn how to do this. And the power skaters are the best ones. If you really want to learn how to skate, I would suggest watching some figure skaters because they are by far the best skaters out there. But obviously that doesn't pertain to hockey as well too. Um, some of the elements do, but not all of them obviously. So let's get going here. As you can see in this guy that's skating from one of the clips, you got a full 90 degree knee bend, nice and low, chest is up, arms are swinging forward and backwards, and he's getting a full push off that back foot as well too. What you'll also see on this is the full extension, and you'll see that toe flick at, right at the end of it where he pushes off and gets that full power out of that, and then he recovers low in order to get that foot back underneath him and drive again. As we go over some stuff here, we're going to cover some quick starts. First guy we look at, one of the best skaters around, Connor McDavid. Again, you watch with one hand as he pushes the puck. He's getting the arm swings, so he gets the arms involved in the skating stride. And he's getting a full push as well off the toe right there. And then he drives to the net. You want to think of starts as just like a sprinter, right? Skating on the ice is kind of like running. And what you're doing is you're taking off from those blocks and you're trying to accelerate as quickly as possible. Here you'll watch McKinnon on the bottom of the screen absolutely fly, catch up on a back check. And you'll see those, those hips get low, the chest comes up, and he's driving with full extension on those strides. Each stride, each push is a full stride push powerful and quick. Again, here is a defensive example. Just getting away from a defender or getting away from somebody with a puck. Watch how, that, how he pulls it, drops the hips, drops to one hand and pushes away real quickly. Here you can see Eichel do the same thing. There's a better angle of it. You watch as he takes off here with one hand. Quick start, just like he's starting in the blocks as a, as a sprinter, up on the toes. And then he drops down into a full stride here. Again, look at the elements from Kale McCarr. Watch as the hips drop right here. He takes off. And the start is just three, four, five quick strides, and then into a full power skating stride. You can see full extension with the leg, the toe flick at the end. Here another quick start. Makes a nice little nifty pass off the boards to himself. Gets up on those toes. Takes a look around, but he's sprinting quick one hand and then back to two once he gets the puck so he can make a play. Next is crossovers. As you'll see in crossovers there's actually two steps that you'll notice. One is a, is a cross is an actual crossover and the next is a cross under which if you think about it, it's kind of a one, two, one, two, one, two type of pattern. And what you want to do is you want to drive each foot as hard as possible. We'll get a good look at McKinnon here. He's on both edges, inside of one edge, outside of the other, leaning into it like a sprinter. Right? It's one, two, one, two, and he's driving under hard with both with every stride that he takes. So it's a drive drive out with the crossover, and it's a drive under with the underfoot. Again, another example here as he takes off down the ice. So he's on his edges, leaning into it, cross, push, push, and each one is a drive with full extension, and a little toe flick at the end. And you watch him just separate from this defender here.
Next is some pivots. Last element we'll cover. This one's a D-man going from backwards to forwards. See, I've got them highlighted here. What he'll do is he'll open up the hips, heels together, and he'll push. Again, striding full length strides with full extension. Here's on the offensive side. Some people like to call this like a mohawk. Watch as he turns, keeps his body square, heels come together and knees and hips go out. And gets another opportunity to score a goal right after. D-man up on the top of the screen. Watch him transition from backwards to forwards to backwards. Watch him here. Nice low. Hips are low. They go out. Knees go out. Hips go out. Using his edges. And again, watch the hips open up and push. He's in a deep enough knee bend where you can still push off. That's one thing that a lot of people forget is you need to be in that deep knee bend. Watch here. That deep knee bend, and he pushes off the back one, opens up the hips, and now he's in a strong passing or shooting position at that point. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the skating breakdown. Um, not a lot to it. It is pretty simple when you break it all down. If you think about it like a sprinter, you take, you're taking off as quick as possible, and then you're going to drop those hips and go into a full power skating mode. So any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to me, and thanks for listening and watching.